Christian it was. says that Cali Audio released a two thousand dollar passive five inch monitor. Yeah, did you see that? Go to their website. It's from the Santa Monica series, not the uh, Everclear passive. song. Prepare, prepare. But the way I understand it is, and I may be incorrect, but the way I understand it is, they're designed to go with uh, Pro Audio, not Pro Audio, but what do they call them? Uh, just power amplifiers, right? And with DSP. So then you would hook up the DSP into them. Mm. And um, I guess you do all the crossover if you want to. They're, it's kind of like a hybrid passive setup where I think the coaxial to tweeter or the coaxial mid-range to tweeter is always fixed with a passive crossover. But if you go active on them, then they give you recommendations for the active crossover on between the woofer and the mid-range. What is that? Go pull them up. Yeah, I they look right here. dope, dude. The way oh, I so I already, I already emailed them and asked them because they were sending me um, something else, and I was like, "Dude, you've got to send me these." These look. Were they going to send you those uh, INUNFs? Yeah, yeah. They were like, "Your name came up next." I was like, "Okay, that's good timing because I'm Passive, starting to test stuff again." What is it? Project but look how Santa Monica. Yeah, look how large that wave guide is, and how it extends out. Like it's that's a perfect profile. It looks like at least. Yeah, the only like a, thing that bums me out is that it's a five inch mid woofer, and I'm like, oh, I wish no. it were like an eight or a ten. You know, could you imagine? Yeah, bass <sighs> looks like a, a, a Earl Getty speaker almost, huh? That's the first thing I thought of. Was uh, I was thinking if they put an eight or a ten, it would look like a, a Getty speaker is what it would remind me of. I mean, it would be a, a three way, uh, which would be even better in my opinion. I, I'm curious about the radiation pattern because of how large that wave guide is, like how how low um, it controls directivity, right? So it should make it even better match to the midwoofer, but I think they're already crossing so low that it probably wouldn't have mattered anyway. Wow. Um, but so, dude, dude, that thing looks sick. So Cali Audio has always been known for like extremely good value. Like mm -hmm. for the price, it's almost unbeatable. We've right. said it multiple, multiple. Generally, like, yeah. how are they doing this? Like, how do they even make money? Um, this so, is how. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> this is I'm how surprised they, that they I'm surprised something. this was a, an aluminum. I thought it was going to be something like you know, beryllium or something kind of. Dude, they got fancy. a flux capacitor woofer. Oh, oh, flux they do. stabilizer. Flux stabilizer. They do. Got it. Okay. No man, it's got better than excited flux capacitor. Um, yeah. So roll back up where it said amplification. Okay. And you can read what I was talking about. I'm just curious. Like, and then on the back, you see it's got the Phoenix Euro blocks on the back. Uh, let's see. Okay, there you go. Hold up, go back down. Hold on a second. Rook, crossover oh. network speaker cabinet. Okay, I mean it looks similar to some of their other stuff. I'm it sure that this is nicer material and all that, right? It does. Yeah. What, where do you want me to go to? Go go right back up a little bit more. Down, down, up, up, <laughs> up, up. Okay. It's a section called amplification. Okay. Just hit that. That's that where I was at. Never heard yeah, of it. right there. Okay. So what does it say? It says something With about at least 100 watts per channel. Hey, me, where, where are you going? Let me, let me, let me. Yeah. There we go. There we go. All over the place. Jesus. 100 watts per channel. For example, LEA Connect 164, 160 watt per channel. Four channel amplifiers, the minimum choice for a pairing of the SM5Cs. Configuration yeah. files for LEA amplifiers can be found here, blah, blah, blah. Make sure that it can deliver 20 VRMS into a 3-ohm load. Most amplifiers rated for 100 watt at 4-ohm load should be sufficient, but you'll need to verify the amplifier you can set can handle 3-ohm load. Hmm. All right. 3-ohm load speaker. I'm just curious because if they're $9.99 each, right? Mm -hmm. And then by the time you, you got to buy a special amplifier for it, and they're passive, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So, I don't know. I mean, it's it's just a very it's very different from what I'm used that's to from them. <laughs> yeah, no. Totally. So this is the first time I've seen this. Yeah, and that's I'm much just... more pro audio than anything else they've they've put out. In huh. my opinion, like I mean, it's like a true pro audio type speaker. Wow. With external okay. amplification. I'm just wondering what they're going for with this. Like, who's the target here? Because I understand if it was active, then you're like, all right, well, they're just going after, like, it better beat the Genelec, better beat, uh, what is the other one that's pretty popular that measures really well? Neumann? Um, Neumann. Yeah, Neumann. Uh, Adam Audio is kind of another one. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So I'm just kind of curious, like what what they're targeting with this. Anyway, let's say the wrong vo- amp voids the warranty. Oof. Hmm. Here, here, here. Yeah. Using the without a peak limiter will void your warranty. E. Oof. Oh. Better All right. Well, going. there's too many instructions with this speaker. I'm not gonna buy it. That's I'll have to talk to. <laughs> what is this cabinet <laughs> made go. out of, real quick? Uh, I don't know, it, man. It looks like some kind of plastic or something. But there, there. That thing better be made out of metal for $9.99. It's expensive, no? That's not cheap, but I mean... Well, expensive know, is relative, right? I'm yeah, of course, of course. Compared to their other stuff, it's just like... Compared to their other stuff, yeah, because their other stuff would get you a pair for, and you could save $200. For <laughs> it's made from unobtainium. Anyway, <laughs> I, I think it's just the, the <laughs> tough thing with this is just... uh comparing it to some other other stuff it's not even comparing it against other things like mm, i i don't know i don't know who yeah. this is for specifically i have to talk to them and ask them who, what they think yeah i just fell in love when i saw that big old wave god i was like ooh, that looks awesome i'm sure it's gonna measure awesome anything charles sprinkle does is pretty I'm amazing sure. i'm yeah. sure he's, you he's guys see one of my the, favorites uh, right now so speaking of coaxials you guys see that andrew jones with MoFi, they've got an eight-inch version. No, oh, I, I mean, I saw it, but I, I'm kind of curious about that one. Yeah, I it am too. Makes more more sense than the ten-inch version. Yeah, have you seen the ten-inch in person? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's huge, dude. dude. It's it's a big. I saw it at the uh, Florida Audio Expo, and mm-hmm. when I walked into that room, I was like, goodness, you know, like it's just a big speaker. So I understand why they were also making an eight as well. Mm-hmm. But I'll be curious to see. Um, they're going to send me the 10. They said after Expona. Mm-hmm. And then I saw that. So I sent an email follow up, just said, Hey, you know, while you're sending the 10, if you've got an eight, send you're me like, that too, because then I can, I mean, I'll you send that out today. You're like, Expona is officially over. Send it. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty yeah, much. I'll be, check, I'll be down to check out the eight inch version. The 10, I was just like, Yeah, that's, that's a, a little too much. Huh? A little too bulky. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. It's big. I'd be curious to know. I would expect that the directivity, the, the 10 will be a little bit more narrow, but also go a little bit lower is what I would expect. But mm-hmm. I don't know, you know, because if Andrew Jones is targeting like a certain sound and hitters trying to make the eight inch a smaller version of it, then it's achievable to some degree. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. I'm interested in all of the coaxial stuff. That one that you're, you're talking about uh, point source. What are they called? The point source eight. So, is source, point, point, is source, source point, point. Yeah, source, source point, point 10 eight. and source point 8. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, if you can't catch the show, we do have an audio version at anchor.fm slash daily hi-fi. So make sure to go on over there if you like to listen to the show.